places and they source the food and they store the food. Yeah. They typically do not give it out in the community. Their function is to bring in the food and then get it out to what are called food pantries. Yeah. Now, food pantries are sort of like the arms of the community. And yeah. uh, there's probably about 60,000 of them in the US and they can be they can range in size, they can be mobile food pantries, and they really serve a specific community. And in some cases, a very specific need in a community like elderly or a homeless population, or uh, in some cases, schools. And so the food pantries will go to the food banks mm -hmm. and collect the food. And that's Things, half of the donations we're going to be giving, we're giving to Feeding America because Feeding yeah. America handles the meals. Feed, yeah. Feeding America puts the meals into the food bank. Yeah. The food pantries themselves are typically nonprofit businesses. Correct. That yeah. are, as you know, they're estimating that 22,000 nonprofits are going to go out of business because of this COVID 19 yeah. pandemic. A lot of it's those are terrifying. The so yeah. the pantries aren't going to, they're not going to be solvent. They're not going to be in business. They're not going to be able to take the food from, the bank. Giving cash grants to pantries. We are. We need them to stay in business. It's one piece of this puzzle is not more important than the other piece of the puzzle. Right. And with the 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 food insecurity growing, and uh, you know, and and I think I really want to have people think about this: that the people that you think are hungry and using food pantries. meals consistently Got and it. unfortunately because of this pandemic um and because of really unforeseen circumstances i mean and that you know for everyone but there are people that you know two parents had been working and one lost a job or a single mother or elderly or i mean for whatever reason yourself is a basic human right and this is i mean you know the stats like feeding america estimates there's six to eight billion meal shortage because of this pandemic and again these are these are your neighbors that's right. why the name of your campaign of our campaign is so appropriate and and people should not be ashamed to ask for help and people should not be ashamed to feed their families right and these food pantries and these food banks are critical right now. Critical. Right. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I, I love the idea that there is um, a need and there are people willing to meet that need. And, you know, uh, we're trying out this uh, this donate button. Uh, it's, it's actually during this live right now. So you can actually click to donate. Um, yeah. And when you do, you, you're, you're connecting your service with the person in need. You're not, you might not know who that person is, right. but I guarantee that that connection, it puts an invisible thread between you and
need. Uh, what, what's different about this uh, need versus previous needs in, in recent American history? Um, I mean, you know, hunger and food insecurity has already always been an issue, but, you know, they're estimating, I don't know, 50 million households, um, 17 million children. And again, it's people are losing their jobs. Um, you know, some people are more isolated and it's not... You know, if the income isn't there, you know, it, it's, it's impossible to do it. And, right. and so it's, yeah, I mean, it, 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 this really just is unprecedented. And people, I mean, 40% of the people that are going into food banks right now and food pantries have never been there before. Right. Wow. So you and, and we have to destigmatize it. If you cannot give $5, then research food insecurity and research food banks and food pantries in your community and put it out there and tell people because you know somebody who has food insecurity. They're just not telling you. That's really what this is about. And, and it's not a long-term fix because I believe, I have faith that this pandemic will be behind us eventually. Everyone's done everything they've been told to do. Some places have shut down their economies entirely. We flattened the curve. We're yeah. doing our best to keep people alive. Like our approach to this pandemic has the has the country divided, just like a lot of things do right now. But one thing I think we can agree upon is where we are right now. Is there's people are hungry, yeah. And this is a way to get food in the mouths. percent of the money raised um, out we are you know you asked about transparency you know we are um, we are very big on transparency we have to be um, but because of our partners at 12 tomatoes and the hunger site who are covering 100 percent of the credit card fees we are giving out 100 percent of uh, Working with other partners on the ground, we're going to identify where the need is great. Right. We're going to get the money out there like immediate, immediately. And then we are going to report back because that and is how you measure impact. Let me ask you this. How, what, what's, the, what's the process for deciding who will be receiving cash grants in like, you know, unrestricted operational use? So like who, who are you picking to help keep solvent uh, through this crisis with the You're actually donating $10. Yes. 
Yeah, that's right. And I put this on my stories earlier, but if you are a member, or if you're a person who has a foundation and you want to get your name out there, you can actually uh, reach out to Noah, feedthyneighbor at greatergood.org. It's mm -hmm. feedthyneighbor at greatergood.org. Talk to Noah. And if you're interested in doing a dollar, dollar, dollar yeah. for dollar match, I'll put you on my stories and I'll give you exposure for your foundation. We really need all the help that we can get. Yeah. And, and let me ask you this question. Um, obviously, this is feeding America, and this is this is talking about a crisis in America. But there's a food shortage crisis around the world because this pandemic is not just a domestic issue. Absolutely, yeah. And so, is there a way you the people? You know, I don't care if you donate through feeding America or through Greater Good Charities. I'm I just really hope that I can motivate people to donate anywhere. Um, if people live in, say, Brazil, or they live in London, or they live outside of the U.S., is there a great a, a resource for where they can education too so you could check out um greatergood.org there's there's a lot of really uh good um national nonprofits that address that too okay. um, and local nonprofits in your area and so if you you know if you live in brazil and you want to impact your community google google it you know yeah. look it up that's really nice i appreciate that um is there anything else you feel like you want to kind of uh talk about or now if you can't donate volunteer yeah volunteer do something if everybody did one thing we wouldn't be where we're where we are and you have to be careful with covid and you have to follow instructions but you know as we get out of this money is amazing and money is going to help us volunteer your time and then finally destigmatize this yeah everybody needs help at some time in their life yeah. Everybody needs help. There's nothing wrong in asking for help. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It's hard. It's hard to ask for help. I understand. I get it. I get, I get it. Um, you know, I, I, I think that there's this, there's this, there's this ideology, I think, and maybe it's a, to protect. But, uh, that's not counting the hundred thousand that I'm putting in to match right. the dollar. And thank the, you. Digital. No, no problem. It's my, it's my pleasure. Um, all right, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, Liz. It's, thank you for your time, and uh, you. look forward to uh, to getting this going. All right. All God right. bless you. Bye, Bye guys. Thanks.